So what's the Creality making today? It looks like some nuts. So what are the mods that you've done to this thing, John? Okay. Are those Bowden tube adapters? Yeah. And you printed them on this printer, right? Yeah. And how do they improve the print? Well, the tube doesn't slip anymore. Good and tight. Okay, so the tube was coming loose yeah. from the original thing. And what other mods have you done here? I see you got some LEDs up here. Yeah. What's your plans for the future? Any more modifications? That's the extruder block for the uh, motor part of it. Yeah. And uh, it's metal. The original one came as plastic. All right. But this one's metal. And it's supposed to uh, make it last longer. Drive feed for the Creality printer. Got the spring, the Allen wrenches, a few bolts and stuff, and then we got the important metal brackets and stuff. All right, let's install it. And a bearing. Yeah. So where is it going? So you're pointing right here. It's going to replace this assembly right here. Yep. Oh, there we go. <laughs> ah, I like that. Yeah, that's going to make it look sharp. Yeah. That red color. And that's yeah. metal. And oh, one. i got to take the filament out. Oh, that's right. i to power it up and heat the extruder so I can at least get it to 90 so I can do a cold pull. <laughs> so that's step one. <laughs> now I want to take this last screw out. It might go plop, so I better hold it while I'm doing it. Yeah. I'm not sure, but it might. And there's the one that we're going to be removing. There we go. That's the old one of those. This is the anodized aluminum drive for the Bowden tube. Like All yeah. installed. I'm going to see if I can straighten it up a little bit. So I guess that's it for now. Hmm. We'll keep you posted on what other upgrades okay. and changes we do. Oh, there's the GoPro down in there. I see it with a motor on it to take a shot every so often. Yeah. This was on here. I'm going to touch the contacts there and make it run. Oh, I get it. Yeah. So that when the head had come over, it would hit this contact and then it would take a picture. Yeah, and this is actually turned off the battery pack for it. So I, I didn't know how to replace the nozzle at first. And yeah. apparently you have to heat it up and then take the nozzle off. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's good. Alrighty. Well, thanks for the tour and the update. We'll check back later to see what else is going on.